on the face of my city. Co-signed by Diddy, hard liquor, I'm shitty. Hotel with some bitty, gotta do my bidding. You changed, no kidding. Wasn't always this pretty. Run with me, I'm fitting. Fourth quarter, ninth inning. Ain't no way we ain't winning. Back home for a week. Ain't no way we ain't sinning. If she came to stay with me, ain't no way she ain't pretty. Got the eight away hitting. Y'all some internet thugs, won't come face to face with me. Y'all would hate to play with me. Tell me, tuck it one time. She'll pay to stay skinny. I done been on that road. I done ate some great dinnies. Yeah. And some cracker bro, little brother with me selling jack apparel. She a rich girl, she done had Camaros. Keep it two, keep it Willie Caballero. White boy with a little habanero. I just hit a hundred, I was at a zero. I'm a big boss, you just at a bureau. Hometown hero, tell him at a mural. Yo, what's up? This is Cardi and we saw from Upsall My Style. This is Celebrity Pumps, a show where we go behind the scenes on a day in the life of a workout of influential people in our society. I'm here today with MLB pitcher Slade Ciccone. What's up? Go D Bags. We're gonna go through his pre workout, workout, and post workout phase to show you what he does on a daily, day-to-day -day basis and give you that insight that you need. Right. So before you start your workout, are there any supplements that you try to take every day to really get you ready to go for your workouts? Yeah, before workouts, I don't take too many supplements. Uh, I try to stay pretty much natural, but other than that, I'll drink some caffeine before I go. Usually something with two to 300 milligrams, maybe a bag or something like that. Something with no sugar too, so I don't crash afterwards. Yeah. Let's talk about mindset. What are the daily rituals or you know, philosophies that really get you in tune to perform your best during your workouts. I'm, I'm a big uh, like pre-music guy, pre-workout music, pre-pitching music, pre-game stuff like that. That kind of gets me in the zone and locked in. So I always have my headphones on. Yeah. What's your number one song to get the pump going right now? The number one song. Some young boy. What is it? <laughs> I definitely listen to rap. I also listen to like some like heavy, some heavy EDM usually when I work out. So. That's tough. I'll give you one of each. You know the song Adam Bomb? Yeah. That song, oh, that song oh. gets me going. And then, uh, yeah, fired up. And then, I'm gonna go with for rap, I'm gonna go with my, my freshman year walkout song, Put On by Young Jeezy. No. Absolute ripper. Banger. Classic. Banger. Classic. Classic. So, stretching is a big part of this pre workout process. So, just give us a rundown of all the different exercises you do to get you ready for the workout. Yeah, I usually take about 10 to 15, maybe sometimes more from a little tight uh, minutes to stretch out, especially on days where I do legs. And uh, that'll consist of going down like a yoga mat or something, stretching out my hips, hammies, quads, glutes, everything like that. Then I'll hang up on a pull up bar to get my lower back and do some rotational exercises with my shoulder and elbow to make sure everything's fully loose. So we're doing a full body workout today. Take us through that workout and the training goals that you expect to get from that. Yeah, today's a whole body day, more isolation, not as much like big weight, like big heavy squats, deadlifts, that kind of stuff. A lot more small muscle isolation movements because now I'm moving into more of a mobility program with the season coming up, trying to get those little muscles activated as I'm starting to throw more. So that's, that's the goal today is the little muscles activation, very, maybe a little bit lighter weight, more focus on form. So we're starting a full body workout today with legs. Why is that? Give us your thought process on that. Yeah, I like starting off with legs because it's the bigger muscles, more whole bodies, your lower back, your scaps, everything with a lot of the movements I do. So that's more of the whole body part. At the end, I'll isolate some more upper body things. But I like starting off with legs every time I work out. Tell us a little bit more about that superset. Why do you pair those two exercises together? Yeah, when I pair exercises together, I usually do 
an accelerator exercise and a decelerator exercise, so like a push-pull movement. So the first exercise will usually be more the explosion push movement, whether it's upper body, lower body explosions, and then I'll follow that up with a decelerator pull muscle, where it's working the reverse. Like say when I'm doing the leg curls, I'll extend out quick and then pull back in slow to work both sides of the explosion as well as the deceleration of the muscle. So we're in full body today. Tell us a little bit more about your workout splits on a week-to-week -week basis. Do you change it up? Is it consistent? Like let us know how you structure your workouts throughout yeah. the week. Yeah, I'm switching into more of my in-season training now that I'm doing more throwing. So it's more lighter weight, full body mobility workouts versus a few few weeks ago, a little over a month ago, I was doing a lot more like squats, deadlifts, like big muscle, big body group movements. And I'm um, just trying to get as big and strong as possible now, I'm focusing more on flexibility, mobility, and stuff like that with throwing coming up. So take us through your core workout today, and how you switch it up day to day, or do you stay pretty consistent? Yeah, I usually, I usually stay pretty consistent with the same four types of movements. I usually try to throw in three main like just core stabilization movements and core strengthening movements, and then always the shoulder stabilization movement. So I'll be doing some uh, med ball push-ups today, uh, and then a few different V-ups and uh, crunches to just work out my core. Keep it stable. So for your post-workout routine, what exercises do you normally do to recover from lifts like that? So I usually, it depends on the day, I'll always do some sort of cool down though, whether it's like mobility stretching, yoga, whether it's in a sauna stretching out, or a cool down on the bike just to kind of lower my heart rate, get all the lactic acid out, so I'm not too sore the next day. So are there any supplements that you should take day to day? What's your protein intake, creatine, sort of give us a little insight on yeah. everything that you take to like recover and get gains. Yeah, I usually go heavy protein, heavy carbs, try to keep low fat, low sugar, and uh, always gotta go with muscle milk or something like that after a workout. I got uh, core power today, 43 grams of protein. So got eight grams of sugar, but two kind of shitty flavors, we're gonna chug it. Cheers. You fucking donut. Of course you don't put a fucking stuff in it, wasn't you? So tell us about your story. You know, where do you come from? How did you get to the MLB first round draft pick? And what's like the biggest reason why you achieved so much success in your career? Yeah, I mean, I've always been born and raised in Orlando, playing baseball my whole life. Uh, family full of athletes. My dad played college football. My brother's playing college soccer right now. Always had that sort of competitive drive. And uh, that brought me to Miami. Um, was lucky enough to be blessed with the opportunity to play at UM. 
spent, uh, spent two years there, loved every moment of it, and then this, uh, this past summer I decided to enter the MLB draft. I was taken by the Arizona Diamondbacks, and uh, from there on it's just been, been a grind. Quarantine and everything, just working out, getting bigger, stronger, faster, better every day. How was that decision leaving UM to go straight to the draft? What were the factors in that? And you know, how did you navigate that process? It was it was tough leaving school in Miami. I love this place, but um, I felt like it was my time to start my professional career. Had a great opportunity, uh, a lot of great support, and um, I'm just excited to be out there. Yeah, awesome. So, where can we find out more about you? Social media, I mean, what what do you have coming up in the future? What's your next season looking like? Uh, yeah, so I mean, your social media is just my name, Slate underscore Ciccone on all platforms. And um, next season, I think mean, I'll be going out, starting training again, spring training, moving out just back out to Arizona, getting accustomed to everything. Definitely getting accustomed to the heat again. And uh, from there on, season will go hopefully smoothly, and I can get my first full minor league season. Can't wait. Okay, so Slade came through, got a full body workout, showed you his pre, mid workout, post workout. You got all the insights you need to apply to your life. You got everything you need. So stop bullshitting yourself and start taking action. That's it. Peace.